Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm a sucker for a good notes app. I use OneNote at work all the time. Back in my Android days, I used Google Keep. Once I switched to Apple, I used Apple Notes and still do for some things. I use Notion for all my creative things like my video structuring. And I made a whole video on Notion. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it somewhere up here. But then I got an email from a company that honestly I'd never heard of, but they were asking me if I wanted to try out their new note taking app. So like I said before, I love a good notes app and I'm always looking to improve my workflow. So I said, absolutely. The app or software is called Scrintle. So thank you Scrintle for sponsoring this video. So this app claims to help you convert creative ideas into structured knowledge and solve real world problems. But specifically, it's a visual note taking tool to capture your creative ideas using canvas, boards, cards, etc. to visually link ideas to structure your thoughts, reuse your ideas over and over, and share your findings to create a common understanding. And if you're interested in trying out Scrintle, you can save 10% by using the link in the description below or using the discount code john10 when signing up and that's for either the personal pro or the lifetime pro subscription so now let me share my thoughts on this software now when opening up scrintle for the first time you'll be greeted with a very brief tutorial there's not a lot of complexity here it's pretty simple in terms of user interface which i love by the way but the main screen is going to be your main canvas which they call your desk and that's where you have a bunch of example, at least when you log in the first time, there's a bunch of example boards, which are kind of bigger picture note things that you'll double click into, open it up. And then within that, you'll have a whole nother canvas where you can then add cards. And the cards are the essence of this note taking app. And the cards basically function as little organized notes that are formatted into little rectangles that are very organized on that infinite canvas or landscape that we had talked about before. Now you can also add text boxes, but there's not a lot of customization or formatting options for these yet. I think personally, the main idea here is you have your desk, you separate that into different big picture or kind of big topic ideas using boards. And then within the boards, you put all your different notes, which are called cards, and you can use the text boxes as supplementary information if you so choose. Now, one really cool feature about this that I haven't seen in nearly any other note taking app is that you can actually draw and connect an arrow between one of your cards or one of your boards to another one. And it'll actually link the two. Not only will it link it, but it'll show the arrow visually on your actual canvas or your board or your card or whatever it is so that you can see visually that you linked it. And not only that, if you double click into it, you can see the link and you can click on that and it'll take you straight to it. So it makes it very simple to connect your ideas together, just like I said before, to visually connect your ideas and use the app to do so. And that's essentially the basics. Now there's more nuance that we can get into a little bit later, but there's not a lot of complexity here. And honestly, that's one of my favorite things about this system is that it's pretty basic. They're not telling you, or dictating how you use it. They're just giving you the tools so that you can figure out how you want to use it. Now, what I said before might sound a little bit complicated, but let me tell you that it's very intuitive and easy to learn. One of my biggest complaints with Notion was that the interface was pretty clunky and complicated and hard to navigate, or at least hard to figure out at first. And Scrintle completely solves all those problems. They make it very easy, very self-explanatory, you can figure out where you're going in the blink of an eye, and it's just a great, intuitive, easy to learn, shallow learning curve system. And another one of my big complaints about Notion was that it's very rigid in how you can actually format and structure things. So sure, you could make columns and you could kind of resize them, and you could put different things underneath those columns like tables and whatnot, but that's pretty much all you could do. The thing that I absolutely love about Scrintle is that it, it's literally built to be a visual note-taking tool, meaning they're not limiting what you can put where, it's literally just up to you to figure out how you wanna organize your own notes. So Scrintle completely reminds me of just like a whiteboard at work. If I'm in a meeting or something and somebody 
goes up to the whiteboard and starts drawing notes, that's exactly how this app feels. Meaning you can start anywhere on the canvas or the board or whatever you want to call it. You want to make a note about something, okay? And, but then from there, you want to branch off. So you like write one thing up here, you write another thing up here, you draw a circle, you connect them with lines, you get more circles. And the next thing you know, your whiteboard is just like covered with like a spider web of stuff. And there's so many notes apps out there that don't allow you to do this to put stuff wherever you want, where it makes sense. You can move it, you can adjust it, you can connect it with different lines and different colors. Scrintle does all of these things, right? So it's just like they said, it's a visual note-taking tool, meaning you use the tools to build it visually however it's gonna work for you best to organize your thoughts. Honestly, this functionality is really great. And unlike an actual whiteboard, when you leave the room, it doesn't get erased. And not only that, you can take it with you wherever you want because it's accessible in your pocket. And not only that, but anything that you write down on this whiteboard, you can click into, double click into, zoom in, add more detail at any time. You cannot do that with a physical note taking tool like a pad of paper, notebook, whiteboard, whatever it is. But with Scrintle, you get the same functionality and you get the additional tools of being able to add all these other things. So like I said, I'm definitely a big fan of the software. Honestly, I just need to use it more and figure out exactly how it's going to fit into my workflow. But who knows? I may have just found my new favorite notes app. And like I said before, if you want to give Scrintle a try, don't forget to use my discount code John10 or use the link directly below in the description and sign up for either the personal or the lifetime pro plans. So thank you for sticking around. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.